the world's going to hell, you know, just uh, slowly burning. Actually, it's getting kind of quick now, but a uh, beautiful day in the western Mojave, though. Absolutely wonderful day. Got some nice Nama going off. Got some nice Canactus. Got some nice Calicoceros. And got a little Malacotrix down there, too, looks like. And then uh, we also have uh, the extremely rare... Uh, the Placus mojavensis, the uh, Mojave monkey flower, which, uh, you know, I'm going to have to go ahead and say does look oddly like a prolapsed rectum, you know, like weightlifters get sometimes if they're not wearing their, their special belt, you know. This areogonum deflects them, too. Look at those faint, look at those nice fuzzy leaves. Fancy and fuzzy, huh? That's going to be tonight's theme. Fancy and fuzzy. I got my nice pink robe out here in my fucking slippers. You're going to catch me running around talking to myself the rest of the night. You know, so this is the habit of these weird bastards. They're just sporadic. They're not restricted to a certain soil type. See, look, here's one that didn't open yet. See that tiny little shit? And some nice facilia right there. Got, a, got that Nama again. Calicoceros. You got your creosote bush. There's no there's no rhyme or reason to it. Well, nice to... Uh, it kind of kicked this uh, polycephalus right there, the cotton tops. There's no rhyme or reason to it. They just come up. Volcanic soil. They got some granite soil over there. Got a menzilia down there. It's uh, it's kind of fucking mind-boggling. And they, they seem to like the slopes because they get a little bit of heat up there. But they'll grow anyway. I've seen them growing in it, you know, down in a wash, just on a ground, you know. The most robust ones were back down a ways, though. It's, it's a fucking really weird plant. Look at that. There's a couple right there. Just coming up in a damn, coming up in a damn wash. Nice, next to the nice uh, little annual areogonum. You got some fucking erodium, too, of course. Now getting rid of that. Another little guy. That red calyx really gives it away. Oh, look at that, right there. Little prolapse butthole right there in the ground. You know? Like what I did in my finger. I didn't even, I forget how I got that. I just ripped it off some, I think I was fucking out with some wire or something. The moon's coming up. It's cold as hell. It's probably 55 degrees, which to me is pretty cold. But the wind aids on top of it, but the moon's coming up. That makes up for it. Got a nice forelsia going off down here too. Look at that. The little, the rose mallow. You like roses? Eh? Remember when I used to drink, I racked one from Home Depot late at night. And a security guard said, Hey, you can't take that. And I said, no, 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 I was already riding around with this. And he said, okay, which I don't understand. Maybe he was, maybe he was on my side. You know, I don't, I don't even drink no more. You know, I never even got a Dewey, okay? I just, uh, you know, I would just do stupid shit, you know? And just act like a jackass. It was a waste of my time. You know, it kept me from feeling my feelings. I live in California now, and I'm fine with feeling my feelings. You know, got a nice way to digest them instead of myself uh, just numbing myself, you know. You ever feel your feelings? Huh? <laughs> the agonum inflate them. There's the little flowers. They're not open yet, of course. You know, it's a little little too chilly yet. But you got the nice, you know, inflated uh, inflated stem, right? Then you got the uh, peduncles. And a goddamn little tiny flowers coming off of it. You got involucres and stipes. Which I don't even fuck with areogonums. I get, you got a, but you know, I, one day I'll get there. One day. The seeds look nice down there, though. Oh, that's nice. That's pretty nice. Beautiful county of yucca shite digger over there. What have you, yuccas? Who knows how old they are? I'm surprised the rednecks haven't shot them up yet. This is a kino cactus, too. Look at that. How old do you think that bastard is? It's a big guy. You got any fruits in there? You got any of the fruits, huh? Are they squishy fruits? No, they look pretty hard. We need a cavalcade of spines. How the fuck are you supposed to get in there and get, I don't know how, how you, how you get those around? How you get them around? Old salvia, old salvia, bruticillaster.
Okay, so anyway, to wrap things up, you gotta remember this guy's an annual, he'll be dead in three or four months, okay? Gonna produce quite a few seeds inside that little calyx. The Corolla will fall off, it'll be his. The seeds will drop out and then, you know, I don't even think anybody has been studying this. I don't think they know how, how the seeds get around, you know? What disperses them, the little rats? Do the rats do it? It could be the rats, it could be the rats. Just, you know, the most goddamn sporadically occurring, highly localized endemic only occurs around Daggett. You ever been to Daggett? They got a few gas stations, a couple tweakers, a couple winos, okay? A couple, uh, maybe some, uh, you know, uh, roughnecks uh, work, uh, living in a trailer, working working locally. They got, used to be, a, used to have a Union Pacific Railroad crew change there, too. Girl, what is it? It might be an egg misspawn. Look at it. Oh, look at it. Look at some little fruits on there already. Fabaceae. Okay. The Mojave monkey flower. All right. Yeah, it looks like a butthole. Okay. Still a beautiful flower. One of my favorites. Pretty rare. Who knows how, how long ago it speciated. Maybe four or five thousand years ago. Maybe longer. Anyway. All right. Well, that's all I got. Moving right along. Here we go.